everybody in the car, so come on, let's ride to the liquor store around the corner. The boys say they want some gin and juice, but I really don't wanna. Be a buzz like I had last week. I must stay deep, cause talk is cheap. I like Angela, Pamela, Sandra, and Rita. And as I continue, you know they're getting sweeter. So what can I do? I really bag you, my lord. To me, flirting is just like a sport. Anything fly, it's all good. Let me jump in, please sing in the trumpet. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Rita's all I need. A little bit of Tina's what I see. Well, here it is. The most amazing invention that I have experienced, or two of them right here. One is, this is the lightest material that I've ever made. It copied exactly that beaker. It was it was a film on the inside of that beaker. Even copied the graduations. You see, I don't know if you can see this. It copied the graduations on the inside of the beaker. This material is so thin. It's 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 like it's thinner than air. It's absolute thin. And to show you this, put it on the scale. It weighs 0.44 grams. Do you realize how small that is? Now, this was made with a plastic called ASA, which is supposed to be 10 times stronger than ABS. But it was made with mixing ASA, which melts in acetone, and it was in this beaker. And when I emptied the beaker, I didn't clean it out completely. I just left it in there, and this is what was I found this morning was this thin foam that copied the beaker exactly. I mean, right if you look at the thing, it's an exact copy of the beaker, weighing only four. Now, here's the significant thing I was wondering if this could be done for a rocket, making a very, very lightweight rocket maybe making some kind of a, um, like an internal framework, like a, like a, almost like done like a blimp, you know, with a structure on the inside of a very light skin. Anyway, this was made by dissolving it in as, as, ASA and acetone. Now here's another in, interesting idea is that another thing that dissolves in acetone is silicone rubber. Now, silicone is a great, great insulator. So I think that if you were to take and do the same thing with with um, silicone and like coat uh, an object with it on the inside, let's say of a rocket that you want to protect from heat, it would probably stick a very thin film of that onto the object on the inside of the object, protecting it from any kind of a damage from heat. The other invention that I have here, this is called the spin spike, or the double or the twin spin nozzle. Twin, twin spin spike. And this little part is made out of brass, threaded on the inside and the outside, so that the gases are going to be coming out of this, coming out of this nozzle which is stainless steel. This is heavy. This weighs 100 grams. I don't know what this weighs. The brass, no, I'm under the brass thing. Anyway, so the gases spin on the outside of the, um, the nozzle and they spin on the inside the same way. So they're a helix spin and a helix spin double. This is, in, fits inside of here. Get it in there. Yeah. Fits in there perfectly. So the gases can go around that and through the center as well. 
So this is an experiment, and we're going to find out if that works this summer. But you guys might want to keep this in mind, because I think this is going to enhance, enhance the thrust significantly, because I think it has to do with force, and how force is created by moving an object both in a helical direction as well as a linear direction at consecutively. So I think this is a cool thing. This is Tony out <laughs> later.